What is, in fact, going to be the next billion dollar comic book film? We got a few coming up quickly. And that is the topic of today's Mint Mobile hotline question of the day. Listen, guys, if you've got a question for our show and you'd like to hear your voice on it, go ahead and call our Mint Mobile hotline anytime 24 7 at 951 268 4259. And again, today's question revolves around what's the next billion dollar film for the comic book genre? Check it out. Hey, John, this is Lewis from the Port City, North Carolina, with Captain Marvel and Aquaman coming. Both of those movies originally made over a billion dollars, and it's unlikely that the sequels will reach that amount. My question is to you, what do you think of the next billion-dollar comic book movie? Yeah, my pick would be The Avengers, but I'm curious your thoughts. Bring on the filthy. All right, Lewis, thanks a lot for calling that in. And, yeah, we've got a, a long list of of comic book movies coming out and you know kind of marvel set an unrealistic standard right marvel was so good that it just kind of became oh another comic book movie hit a billion dollars well another mcu movie hit a billion dollars all right it's tuesday right they just seem to start cranking them out a bunch and it made us forget that a movie hitting a billion dollars is a very rare and a very special thing and they kind of change the things. Now, lately, we haven't seen comic book movies hitting the billion-dollar mark, at least not with the frequency that we have. I think the last one to hit a billion dollars was Joker, the last one to hit a billion dollars. Spider-Man, No Way Home. Spider-Man, No Way Home. That's it. That was the last one to do it. So let's take a look at a list of the upcoming movies and see what the chances are that those will as we jump into the classroom. All right, Marvels. Listen, just going to say this. Nobody thought Ms. Marvel was going to make a billion dollars. I think maybe except for Robert Meyer Burnett. If I remember correctly. I did say that. I think Robert Meyer Burnett may have been the only person I knew who was <laughs> predicting before that movie ever came out that the Mar Ms. Marvel or Captain Marvel, Captain say, Marvel. would make a billion dollars. So I don't think this one will. I'll, nobody thinks this one will. No. I am going to give it a higher than you might think. 20% chance that it does. That's only a one in five. So most likely won't. I'm just saying we all made the mistake of underestimating this character before. So that's why I'm going to go as high as 20. Rob, what would, would you go over or under 20% that it gets under? To a I'm going to go gonna 10. Go, 10. Especially because I saw the trailer in front of the creator twice. Yeah, it's they, like, they put a new trailer. In there front. was a new trailer. And I'm looking at this trailer. and I'm like, while it tells us more, it looks to me like this is a half an hour of story. Mm. It looked like an episode of a TV show. Well, it is going to be the shortest MCU film ever at an hour and 45 minutes. So we'll see how that goes. All right. So it's probably not going to be the Marvels. Then we got Aquaman 2. Again, the last movie did make a billion dollars. I think that shocked everybody. I mean, Jason Momoa in his wildest wet dreams, I don't think ever thought the first Aquaman was going to make a billion dollars. But it did. Wet dreams. I see what you did That's there. That's how you caught what I did there? All right. Wet I'm clever. <laughs> so maybe not as much as I think. So Aquaman 2 is coming out. I listen, I, I hate doing it because I really like Jason Momoa. I got to give it no more than a 5% chance. Listen, no DC film has made, no DCEU film in the past five years has made more than 400 million. The audience has simply abandoned the DCEU. Now, you add on top of that some off camera, behind the scenes, you know, controversy and stuff like that. I just don't, listen, I think they got to be thrilled if Aquaman makes 500 million. I think if they make $500 million, I think they got to take that as a big win. I don't know, Rob, what chances do you see Aquaman getting to a billion? Well, here's the thing. We've heard that the movies had test screenings and it didn't test well and all that stuff. However, I would say this. James Wan is a very capable filmmaker. I He's think wonderful. the movie was bonkers. I think this is the last Hail Mary of the, uh, of the Snyderverse-derived DC universe. I think that if they pull out some kind of crazy, over-the-top, maniacal... Uh, action fantasy explosion. You know, if I feel like I'm five years old and had too much cotton candy when I watch this, I think maybe it could do better. So I'm I'm going to give it, I'm going to say, I don't think it's going to make a billion dollars. Let me just flat out say that. However, if I have to rank it, I'm going to go 25%. You know, that 25. Is, so only because, shot. only because I don't, I have no sense of this. And I think this movie's insane. And if it's, I when we went into the first movie, Crazy, I couldn't insane. believe how... So this movie's either going to make a billion dollars or it's going to way underperform. It's not going to make like... So it's not going to make 850. It's going to make no. like 375 yes. or a billion. Yes. It's I either going to be over the top or it's going to crash and burn, Mav. All right. Crash let's, and burn. Let's get on to this one here. Madam Web. 
which I got to tell you, I, I was like most people when they announced it and said, why, what, why, why, why would you do that? Why would you do that? But when Make reports started coming out, first of all, of the casting, and then reports started coming out about what the story might be, I have to admit, I started to become kind of fascinated by the idea of the movie. Fascinated or not, though, I'm going to give Madam Webb's chances the first big fat goose egg. Woo. There's no chance in the world. There's zero chance in the galaxy that this movie gets anywhere close to a billion dollars. I think there's a chance it could be good, but it ain't getting a billion dollars. I don't know. Rob, what do you think? Who's making this movie? Oh, yeah, that's right. There's What? What? There's a Madam Webb movie. <laughs> no, I, I, I'm i with you. Zero. A zero percent chance. Uh, and, and look, uh, again... I don't know why or how they've made this movie or even that they did make this movie. I they feel did, the way the way Chris Carr felt about The Flash, I feel about this movie. But there, there's no way. I don't care if it's Gone with the Wind meets Casablanca meets The Shawshank Redemption meets Star Wars. Zero chance. Yeah, I agree. It could be the greatest comic book film of all time. Then maybe the sequel could make a billion, but this one ain't. No. All right. Let's move on to this one here. My most anticipated movie ever. Well, maybe not ever, but uh, certainly right now, Deadpool 3. I Look, I, I'm not going to, I'm just going to get right to it. It's 90% chance. I, I think there there is a chance it doesn't. There's a possibility it doesn't. But I think all the smart money has to be put on that it does. I mean, not only did the previous two Deadpools outside of the MCU both go over $700 million each, they sit as the number three and number four all-time highest grossing R-rated films in the history of cinema. You add into the fact that it's been gone for a few years, it's now coming into the MCU, and they're freaking bringing back Hugh Jackman as Wolverine for one last ride. I, I mean, I just don't see a big chance that it doesn't so to answer the question, what's the next one? I think the next one is going to be Deadpool 3. I, I think that's the one. Again, there is a chance it doesn't, but I'm going to set it at 90%. Rob, what do you think? John, because you're a poker playing man, this is where I go all in. <laughs> I like 100%. it. 100%. 100%. Maybe we'll talk about why. I, 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 if, if, if Friday I was at 90%, I'm now 100%. And I have a reason, which we're going to talk about because it's an upcoming topic. But it's going to be a hundred percent that this movie is going to make a billion dollars. So really, we have we have just answered the question. Then the next billion dollar film is most likely, I think, going to be Deadpool. Rob and I both agree it's going to be Deadpool three. Let's just quickly go over some of the other ones. We're going to go through this fairly quick here. Venom three. I'm a fan of the Venom franchise, but none of the other ones have made a billion. The second one made less than the first one. Not a very. I mean, it's possible. Not a good chance. Captain America: Brave New World. We've come to see Sam's Captain America as a TV character. I, I, I just don't see this one being in a billion dollar. Unless film. it's great, you know. Really, but I think even if it's great, I think that sets it up that his next film maybe could be a billion. I, I just don't know if this one could. Craven uh, the Hunter. I think we all agree. Look, I'm fascinated by it. I like the trailer they showed us at CinemaCon. It ain't making a billion dollars. I don't, it's not going to make seven hundred million dollars. But who who knows? We'll see what happens. Joker Folie Adieu. I mean, the first one made a billion. You're adding Lady Gaga to this one. I I won't say as as high as Deadpool three, but I think there's a solid chance. Solid chance brilliant. if it's great. If it's great. All right, Thunderbolts. A lot of B-lister character stuff like that. I am fascinated by this. Movie. I'm actually quite excited about Thunderbolts. To be honest with you, not gonna make a billion dollars. Ray, what are the chances that Blade makes a billion dollars? In theory. Zero. It doesn't matter what. No, no, I'm just, I'm just kidding. Zero percent. But here's, yeah, because there's a trick. It's a trick question, way because a movie's got to actually get made yeah. and come out in theaters for it to That's make why I said in dollars. theory, like theoretical in movie. Theory. Zero chance. <laughs> uh, Fantastic Four. I hear a lot of people saying Fantastic Four will be a billion dollar film. Based on what? Based on what? The comic book sold so low, they canceled it twice. Uh, they had made other movie iterations. Granted, they weren't good, but they never came anywhere close to that. I like Rob, I hear a lot of people saying Fantastic Four. There's good reason to be excited about it, but I don't personally see any evidence whatsoever that would convince me that Fantastic Four, granted, this is said long before we officially know casting or trailers or anything like that, but comics haven't been tremendously successful in the last 20 years. The, the movies have all kind of flopped. 
What is the chance that a Fantastic Four movie could come out and be a billion dollar film, do you think? Zero. Really? You're going to be even lower than me. Zero. Yeah, I don't think so. I mean, it, you know why? Because inherently, the Fantastic Four, I don't think has, let's call it a cool factor. Yep. That it's, it's, I, that I don't think it has. I don't think the property has. Mm -hmm. So I don't think it could, could be a billion dollar movie. All right. We're going to go into Superman Legacy. You guys know my thoughts on this. The DC is now in a rehabilitation stage. It's going to take a while. They got to rebuild trust with the audience, rebuild trust with the theaters. And Superman Legacy, it's got to be awesome. But even if it's awesome, I don't think it's going to do great at the box office because it's going to take them time to rehabilitate and get that the audience back on board. I'm going to say like 5%. Guys, we want to take a second to thank a sponsor of today's video, Mint Mobile. Signing your life away to a big wireless provider is kind of like being trapped on a roller coaster from hell. Sure, it looks like fun at first. They probably even threw in a free phone. But now you can't get off. Month after month of insane bills and unexpected thrills, like overages and surprise fees. If that sounds like your current big wireless plan, it's time to get off the ride with Mint Mobile. For a limited time, wireless plans from Mint Mobile are just $15 a month. That's unlimited talk, text, and data for just 15 bucks a month. You guys know before I came to Mint Mobile, I was paying triple what I am paying now on the standard big wireless plan, and I will never go back. All plans come with unlimited talk, text, and high speed data delivered on the nation's largest 5G network. Use your own phone with any Mint Mobile plan and bring your phone number along with all your existing contacts. To get your new unlimited wireless plan for just 15 bucks a month and get the plan shipped right to your door for free, go to mintmobile.com slash campia. That's mintmobile.com slash campia. Cut your wireless bill to just 15 bucks a month at mintmobile.com slash campia. Rob, what do you think? Here's the thing. This is gonna, you're gonna see, think of me as being insane by saying this. I think that James Gunn's entire career and his entire sensibility has been honed to make this movie. It's been all about this moment. I think, I think that he, and people are gonna say I'm crazy. Like, how can you say this? <laughs> I, think, I think that we're going to get a classic, one for the ages, that combines the kind of sweeping Americana that we got in the first half an hour of, or the first 45 minutes of Richard Donner's Superman with the distillation of the kind of wild entertainment that he brought to us with the Guardians of the Galaxy trilogy, with the kind of heart that you would see in a lot of, the way he can make you sympathize with King Shark, looking at a couple kissing, yep. that sensibility, you take all of the things that James Gunn has been able to do, and everyone's like, but Rob, he's made all these crazy movies. I'm like, I understand. Even the darkness that he has in his novel, The Toy Collector, I think this is going to be one for the ages. Now, I don't know if it's going to make a billion dollars, but he also has the enormous pressure. I've heard that the script is good. I think this is going to be the one that a lot, and a lot of people, I'm going to get roasted on Twitter for saying this, but I don't care, John. I'm going all in on this one too. And I don't know if it's going to make a billion, but I think it's going to be the superhero movie that is going to surprise a lot of people. And it, if it, you can equate something to have the, the, the power of Rudy, <laughs> the, the, the hope of the Shawshank Redemption, you know, and I don't know. I'm going too far, but you know what I'm saying. I think. Listen, I, I don't think it's it's hyperbole to say it better be one of the best things he's ever done. It has to be. If you're going to get people back on board of the DCU, it's got to be that level that you're yeah. describing. All right. Then we look at the Batman two. I, I don't think this is going to make a billion dollars. I think it's going to be again very successful. Mm, I <laughs> I'm sorry, Matt. But like, it, it's. I mean, the first one made, what, 700 and something yeah. in that neighborhood, right? And I think it can make as much, even a little bit more. But I think that's its neighborhood. I think it's going to be really successful at that. I, I don't see it making a billion dollars. Yeah, I mean, even 800 would be stellar. Yeah, I th absolutely. Absolutely would. And then you get into Avengers, Kang, Dynasty, and Secret Wars. Okay, look. I'm going to say something a lot of people might think I'm crazy. I don't think Kang Dynasty is going to make a billion dollars. I don't think Kang Dynasty is going to make a billion dollars. Why? Because unlike in, uh, Infinity War and Endgame and even Age of Ultron and the first Avengers movie, the MCU was always on a momentum roll going into those Avengers films. High anticipation, 
high excitement. The quality of the product was great. The quality of the product has not been great overall. There have been great things, but overall, the quality of the product of the MCU has not been great overall. And I think there's going to be a real lack of momentum going into Kang Dynasty. Now, Secret Wars, different thing. I think Secret Wars, I'll, I'll right now, years in advance, say that's going to be a billion-dollar film. But I'm going to give it a 49% chance that Kang Dynasty actually gets to a billion. I'm going to go, I'm going to say it's, I don't think it will. I don't know, Rob, am I insane for saying that? No, because, John, there are no Avengers. As of right now. I, I, I mean, <laughs> uh, you're, you're, Avengers, movie. Kang Dynasty, <laughs> Avengers, Secret Wars, who would those be? Who are what Avengers? We're 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 into phase five. Hulk's bull hair cut it, you know, I, I, Nick shirt wearing suit. I mean, they're gonna bring what it's together? The Avengers. Oh, yeah, the Avengers. 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 <laughs> they have no gravitas. <laughs> there's no team. There's no one. I mean, even Nick Fury saves the world from an alien invasion by himself. I mean, who are the Avengers? I don't know. And until we have an Avengers team, I would say the Earth is going to lose to Kang. And the secret wars <laughs> are 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 going to be fought, and whoever whatever's left, I mean, and it's silly to say that, but they've got these two movies that they've announced, and no one knows who the Avengers team is. How do they do this? This is this is, by the way, the problem with the entire MCU. There's no more cohesion. No one knows where this is going. There's no direction, and we're all more excited about a Deadpool, Wolverine movie. I I see. I agree that that's a problem. I think the bigger problem that MCU has had is that their movies just haven't been as good. Right. I mean, that, that kind of hurts too. So there, there's so all that to say, we think the next billion dollar comic book film is going to be Deadpool. And then barring that, maybe not until secret wars. I mean, it, it seems weird to say like two, can you imagine saying that three years ago that we might have to go like a number of years before we're going to get the next billion dollar comic book film i it, un, unbelievable to me. hey guys thanks so much for watching this video make sure you like the video leave a comment and subscribe to our channel and don't forget we have a daily podcast called the john campy show podcast available on apple Podcasts, spotify or your favorite podcasting app of choice go and subscribe to it today so it'll be there when you need it